You might have already seen the York Dance Extravaganza Flash Mob video on YouTube. I'm part of the crew who helped pull it off, and here's how it happened. It's Friday, August 14th at 12.30. Um, I was helping one of the sound engineers set up the sound. I had the iPod in my hands. I was so excited. To be dancing outside in the city of York, um, it brought smiles to anybody's face who was standing there. We have been meeting with the Cultural Alliance um, once a month, and we found out that we had a zero budget to PR the Governor's Awards for the Arts. Um, and somebody on the committee brought up, but let's do this flash mob um, like they did at the Belgium train station. Um, and Lori, our artistic director, basically begged them, please let me choreograph it because it looked like so much fun. Details instead tonight, I'm going to teach the bulk of the guts of the choreography that at some point you all do. Three times, two times, one time, whenever it is that you are entering the square. As in any flash mob, uh, secrecy is a big part of the event. If everyone knows it's going to happen and everyone shows up, it doesn't really work. So to keep it secret, we rehearsed at the Pulo Center at Penn State York. Um, we did some rehearsing on the stage, we also did some rehearsing in the parking lot. Um, and we had assigned times that we were going to meet. Everything was done by email, uh, so there was the hopes that the public wouldn't wouldn't really catch on, um, and it would take them by surprise. There was a lot of people saying, "What are you doing?" And luckily, we had kind of preempted at our meetings, "What if that happens?" And my response was, "Oh, we're sound checking for York Fest, which is in two weeks." The filming of the event was actually pretty complicated. I had seven different cameras, uh, three on different roofs around the square, one on the Citizens Bank roof, one on the roof adjacent to that, and one on the six-story roof of Dale Einstein's law firm. I also had two cameras on the ground. One was on a tripod, uh, one was handheld. I had one in a car, and then I had one that a dancer actually held as they danced. Although I did the video for the event, the entire process was a big collaboration between many organizations. The Strand, the Cultural Alliance, Greater York Center for Dance Education, York Little Theater, Penn State, the list goes on and on. I think the funniest thing was Mary Yeepel, who um, works with the St. Patty's Day Parade. Uh, she was walking down the street to get to her place after we had our rehearsal, and she, they, someone said to her, Mary, there's some dance company, they're doing something weird down there. You better get down there and check it out. And she's like, oh, I don't have time right now, it's all right. Not knowing that Mary was doing it herself. <laughs> so I think that person was probably surprised when they saw the video. The YouTube reaction to this video has been absolutely phenomenal. We're getting referrals from Twitter, from Facebook. It's embedded in lots of different great sites. Uh, and it's, it's really getting a lot of great positive feedback and comments and ratings. <laughs> Hey, well, I was down here working, it was a normal day, a bunch of folks were all crowded around. Before I knew it, uh, big speakers were playing over here, and uh, Random people just started running into the street. They were, uh, they were dancing, doing a little boogie, and then next thing I know, more people were in the street. <laughs> 